Hello. Hello. <laughs> Remember <laughs> us? Well, uh, I'm Nikki. I'm Heather. And we're Willie Elephant. It has been seven months. Seven, seven months. Seven months. So if we're trying to remember how to do this. <laughs> yeah, I've not been in front of a camera for a while. No, <laughs> I mean, I have. You might, as you'll have seen from videos under underneath, uh, down below, uh, it, I've been videoing every week on Facebook Lives at the shop. Those will no longer appear on the channel mm -hmm. as we're filming them on a different thing now. So I can't upload them because I was doing it from my phone. So now me and Nikki, Nikki and I, if we're going to give our correct English, I see glare in my glasses. We we're trying a new trick. Trying to, yeah, to st stop the glare. Stop the glare. So we're back. Yes. So we're going to film a really long video, but you might get to watch it over two or three weeks. Two, yeah. Two or three weeks. So we, don't bore you, so we don't bore you to death all in one go. <laughs> so to anybody that used to watch us before, I hope you're well. Yeah, I hope you said, yeah, 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 I won't say survived, but. <laughs> yeah. so it's we're in all it's all the fiber arts now all we're not them. just knitting anymore uh you're doing predominantly crochet yeah cro knitting crochet i do mainly crochet at the moment i yeah i mainly sew at the moment but i am still knitting away i'm still knitting, uh, uh, yeah. knitting away i can't knit quite as much as i used to because of my shoulder i've been feeling it in my shoulder and you preach it <laughs> she's she's even worse. Yeah. So, but we are still, we are still doing plenty. So we'll always have plenty always. to show you. And I'm always making things for where I work. So I'll always have things. And I have unindated orders with from my children. And you can see all these different things that I've been sewing. I'll just tilt that one slightly. I'm a bit of a bag maker these days. As you can see around the place. Cat leaf poultry. Oh, Isn't that sweet? And the dog one says the same. Aww. Well, opposed jig. to dogs, as opposed to cats. He's got the jig. I know it has, that's why I like that one, because I thought <laughs> about colouring him in. Yeah. Anyway, I was trying to find the best background. Hope this suits. It is a bit fussy, but there is not a clear spot of wall. Not in the craft room. In this room. If there's clear space in the craft room, something's wrong. Something's definitely wrong. <laughs> so, we're going to show um, knitting FOs. Yes. Finished objects to start with. And then we'll show knitting Which? whips. Works in progress. If you don't know what that means, won't, won't repeat that every week. No. Um, and then we're going to... Nikki has a mountain of crochet. Literal mountain. A mountain of crochet. And then we'll show my sewing things nearer to the end and something else you've been doing yes okay so who wants to go you can first. go first you can go shall first. i go first go well first. my latest uh finished object is this little jumper not little. not so little i knitted this for michael grandson who's what six in a week well days we're counting down this is size uh five just grab my laptop because the pattern's on there because i can't find where i put the pattern i think i take it to work so this is size five to seven believe it or not and amanda at work who is quite tiny just petite i held it up against her and said this will fit you when you model it so i might stick a picture in here if she in here if she agrees i'll stick a picture of a woman <laughs> wearing my five to seven uh, age jumper. It'll probably fit in till he's oh, nine. Nine. It's this that way around. Nine or ten. I have knitted this. It's knitted in Stylecraft Bambino. Um, so but there's going to be a lot more acrylic knitting as opposed to just the the premium yarns. We're doing a lot more acrylic stuff these days. I'm the shop where I'm working. I always knitting and sewing. We sell lots of yarn, and, and the vast majority of it's acrylic, and it's hard not to buy it when you're there. Oh yeah. Very hard not to bite when you're there. So this is the Bambino. Nikki will show you the pattern. Put it at the screen. So there we go. If you can see that. See, this is the pattern. That's the cute little lad. It's the Style Craft Sweaters in Bambino DK pattern 9603. 9603. So I think that that would fit. There's only two left in stock. No. <laughs> <laughs> Quick! <laughs> Add a few extra, if you added a few, it says age five to seven. I would say that's probably up to about ten. ten. And then if you added a few more stripes on the bottom. My child's never going to be that And big. a couple of, couple of stripes longer on the sleeves. Mm. It would fit, easily fit um, a regular size adult. Yeah. <laughs> a regular size adult. 
What's one of those? <laughs> the girl that's regular sized. Um, as, I mean, as opposed to, I think Amanda is. She, she's under five foot. She's not quite five foot. I don't think. She's about four foot twelve or something like that. Not four foot twelve. Teeny. That's five foot, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> four foot eleven, maybe. So, uh, I will put a picture of her in there, and then when Michael gets it. I put a picture of Michael in it. He yeah. might have to push the sleeves up. I'll put a picture on Instagram, honey. Uh, when it's done. I have started one in another colour for for little Josie, who's... I'm getting caught up in one down here. Who's three? Three and a half, nearly. He's three and a half, yeah. Yeah, three and a half. And this is in a different, uh, different colour. It's still in Bambino. I'm using the leftover. This is called Mellow, I think, this colour. Nice colour. I can't remember what this one's called. It's like a pistachio. Um, it's like a baby range of yarns, mm. bam, the Bambino, but it is lovely. I want a jumper in it, I think. it's uh, The stitch definition is really good on it. It stands out so well and it's very smooth. Is that because it's got the bamboo in it? No, it's no bamboo. It's acrylic. It's 100% oh. acrylic. It's called Bambino, which is... Um, oh, it's it's another. Is it Italian for it's baby? It's another word for baby, isn't it? For baby. It? I was thinking bamboo. I'm knitting on... <laughs> The, the, that one was knitted on four millimetre needles, yeah. like it requested. This one, I'm knitting. I've gone down a size to three point seven five to knit it a bit, to hopefully knit it a bit tighter. So hopefully that one will come out a bit more closer to 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 Joseph's uh, size. So that Stylecraft Bambino yarn. If you've never tried it, you want to give it a go because it it, it is lovely to knit with. Really, really nice soft. to knit with. Yeah, soft and smooth. So, you want to go next? Ah, top of my pile. I've been, I bought some knitting looms off a friend. I've been struggling with my, just pulling her hair out, um, struggling with my shoulder. So, actual proper knitting with two needles has been painful. So, I've got a plastic peg loom. Do you want me to hold it up? If you want. And um, so, me and Michael together have made this teddy. He picked the colours and I did it on a, on a loom. This is a circle plastic thing. And I've held two strands of DK together and I followed a YouTube video by Luma Hat. Any any links will go on. If they're not on straight away and you want the links, come back. And they'll be on. They'll come back and they'll be on within a couple of days because I'll try and get the video on maybe for the weekend. It might be on at the weekend. It's the eighth, Thursday the 8th today. So by the time you watch this, it might be the tenth or the eleventh if you're watching it straight away. Yeah. And then you'll try and get. But if you if that's when you're watching it, July the tenth, eleventh, around that time. But if yeah. the, the if the links are not there and you want them, just come back in a couple of days and check. Yeah. Because Nicola's going to add all her links. I'll do them when the kids are in school. I'll get mine any that I can get in, but then Nikki will add all her links once the kids are at school. So I did this is all in one piece the head and the body and then you do the legs so it's all on one loom and it was it was fun it was entertaining it's watching really... michael do, do his his bits he's very crafty isn't he michael oh he loves it um so that's all double knitting just held double and it's all style craft as well uh special dk and it's well loved because it's very furry uh, in fact when we talked about joseph when people have been asking us how long we've been doing these videos obviously we've not done one for seven months and the previous two to that were a bit of a disaster <laughs> we, we might kind of remove those because it's uh, while well, we tried doing them over lockdown over zoom and things and it just didn't work did it well, it was a nightmare that's why we didn't do any more but that just shows because you were pregnant you went through your pregnancy on the videos and he's now three and three and a half yeah three and a half and we were doing it for a while before that and he's dinosaur mad. He is. So and I made this shirt because it's got dinosaurs on, just to keep him happy. Just to keep him happy. And then I bought a knitting machine. I bought an Addy King. And this was my first project because I couldn't wait. I had to do something. So it's kind of like a... A thing. A Mobius cowl. A thing. Where, is, it, is it knitted twisted? Have you sewn it together twisted? No, or? it's when you, I knitted a tube and then I just cinched it at the end and then I sewed it together to try and make it look like a bow. She says. I don't like it. Oh right, you've tied a tried tied yarn around it. Yeah, I've yeah. sewn them together and then I've and then I've used the ends and put the ends wrapped it round. Now this is Hayfield um festival iron weight, but that's by Sirdar, isn't it? Hayfield. Yeah, but I didn't like knitting it with needles because it's really, really fluffy. I don't know if you can see the halo on it. I don't mean to hold it on you, I'm gonna keep leaning forward. Um 
but it's really, really fluffy and it really, really irritates me. Yeah, you can see the fluff. The fluff. Um, and the colours are gorgeous though, aren't they? I bought it because I saw a lady who made headbands using this and I thought, oh, it's really pretty. And so I thought I'll just give it a go and I'll give it on my machine and try it. Um, stitch definition isn't great, but whatever, so it was my first one. <laughs> and, uh, it looks, it looks alright. I love these colours, um, these, these colours, do you? But the pattern I was using, I can't remember what I was trying to use it for. But it was a garment orientated and I hated it. I just didn't like doing it. I didn't like using the wool. So have, any, have any of you got these Addy knitting machines? If you have, comment below yeah. to give us some tips. Addy King. Addy uh, King. Okay, Addy King size. Yeah, it's the big one. 46. Yeah. And there was a video the other day of, of uh, little Michael having a go. She sent us a video of Michael having a go at it, which was sweet. Both, oh, Joseph today, just before I was coming out, I was getting ready to come out. Joseph comes to talk away, sits down and goes, Mummy, I'm knitting at the machine. And he sat there turning the machine, going <laughs> round and round. Nothing on it, but he just thought it was, yeah. He's trying to get the kids crafty. Crafting. Speaking of Joseph, this is a jumper I knitted him for Christmas. He got a dinosaur on and it's all in Aaron. Um, different brands. And it's the Diplodocus jumper by tiny tots i think that's who they are i have bought um from the same because you knit it all you knit the yoke and then you do that it's all in one piece is it knitted in the round yeah it's not all knitted in the round all in one piece um there's no seaming or whatever it's my first proper color work project it's brilliant and he loves it doesn't he and he's worn it to nursery yeah and his key worker she's like who knit you that beautiful jumper do you know what the traitor said? What? Nanny. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's Nanny's It's alright, I, I don't mind taking credit for that. And it's like, Nanny's made it. And she came out, she goes, oh, you, you, is it your mum who's knitted him that jumper? I went, I knitted that jumper. <laughs> it's like, yes, but she That's has. That's great, nice one, Joseph. But yeah, obviously mum has knitted him stuff. Um, it's all done in Aaron and the stripes, it does actually have the, these stripes in the pattern. So I followed it to a T. Um, he was the only one who got a jumper. The rest of us got cardigans. Yeah. Uh, I did try to find them, but everyone, even in this heat, still wears them. So they're all in wash. Well, that's all right. There'll be many more episodes, we hope, in our future. We hope to be a bit more, produce them a bit more often. We can't promise that because we both have quite busy lifestyles. I mean, I'm working full time in a knitting and sewing shop. So making things for there and... Um, as well as for things for myself to sell, it uh, takes up a lot of time. No, I just can't. Why? Children. <laughs> so, and then on my Addy, I've actually been making some beanies. So that is in Stylecraft um, Heatwave, I think it's called. Oh, in the red colourway. Mm. The red colourway. That's lovely. It's um, going to turn up. Yeah, it's it's double, double brimmed as well. Um, so it's the same on the inside. Totally messed me hair up. That's small. They're a bit snug to begin with, but they do slacken off. Very nice. Because I wore this one for I a like bit. That one. I wore this one for a bit. That's about as much as I can take of that. And uh, they they are tight, but if it'll go on my head, it'll go on anyone's head. Well, yeah. And uh, it slackens off. Should we hold that one up? But I'm probably. Gonna... What's this one? This didn't you know? That's in Red Heart Flamingo. The saver stripes. I've made quite a lot in this colourway. I crocheted mm -hmm. a unicorn for my cousin Daisy, who's same age as Michael, for Christmas. Obviously, I don't have it with me because it was a present, but her mum, Naomi, absolutely loves it. She well, if we can find the picture, picture, I'll put it in. If yeah. I can find the picture of it that you sent me, if not, you can always send me another one. Mm. I can pop the picture in. This this space in the middle is perfect for putting pictures in. And I've made a headband. This, this does fit my head, but it's really tight because it's, I think it's 20 rows short for an adult. But it's one of those twisted headbands. Um, I basically lived in a headband last win last winter because I always have my hair up in a ponytail. Um, but this will go for like a teenager. So I'm practicing so then I can make some and sell them in the shop. But these are definitely more aimed at like smaller heads. Because well, it's like a slouchy, be a slouchy uh, hat as well. Because they all come in shapes and sizes. Are you going to put pom-poms on them? Yeah. Michael. Removable ones? Yeah, ones that can go on a... A big popper, you can put like a big popper. Uh, press studs, press studs, press there. studs. That's the words I was looking for. Pink and he used to buy some faux fur ones. Mm. Right, so that's all your hats. I've got that's all my knitting. 
I finished object. I finished a pair of socks. I started these. Hmm. Not last. Ooh. Not last October. And this is a Serdar yarn. It's a carnival. Serdar carnival. Carnival. That's Starcraft. Starcraft. Ca carnival chunky. Yeah. Yeah. That one. That's what that is. <laughs> I know that because I was sticking it in somebody's order today. <laughs> um, I made some socks. I think I finished. I think I finished two or three pairs of socks. But this is. This is the one I like the best. This was in my hand dyed yarn. And I think this was the Resferber Res sock pattern by Nina Phillips, Knitting Expat. I think I'm doing one of them. Which I really like that because it's like you've got the ribby. It's a bit of a fancy rib, really. Slightly offset rib. So it holds it on your foot uh, better. But the <laughs> fact, so that's, that's a finished pair of socks. I, say, I, think I've, I think I've finished one or two pairs. But I've not been a lot... Not doing as much of the sock knitting recently, but I've got a couple of pairs that I need to get finished. Mm. So that's, I think, all my knitting finished. Is that your? That's all my knitting, yeah, that pile. I don't think I've finished anything else. I'll have to have a route out. Anyway, I've got other works in progress. So sorry if you get a bit of glare. I've just opened the curtain a bit more. This is the latest jumper that I'm doing. I already did one of these in a grey yarn. This is, I'm knitting in bamboo cotton, Stylecraft bamboo cotton, and it is, what's it called? The Bluebell Jumper. The Bluebell Jumper by Pearl and Jane. You'll, that'll not come as a surprise to you but on this horror. podcast, me knitting something by Jane Elliston. She's my favourite designer from Pearl and Jane. I've already knitted one of these in grey. It came out, it was just a little bit short for me. Mm. I think so you might end up with that as well. Excellent. Uh, and I'm knitting, <laughs> so I'm knitting this one a couple of inches couple of inches longer it's got a lovely like lace pattern at the bottom simple lace pattern you see it on blankets a lot that pattern mm. i think and it's a v-neck i was making this to wear over shirts for the summer uh, well it's the summer autumn because i've got a couple of summery colors i wouldn't normally go for this kind of color it's not normally me i like the brights and the cool. bowls but i've got a couple of shirts in in paler colors in corals and lemon and that I wanted to have to wear it up or just to wear it stand alone and it's 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 knitted in Stylecraft Naturals bamboo cotton and that colourway is Cameo and it's shade 7166 so if you like that that's the label for that one but it feels it's really nice to knit with it gives you nice stitch definition the only thing I found when I was knitting this I was knitting the same size as the grey one. The grey one obviously looks like that. And the grey one was 50% wool, 50% cotton. So it holds its shape really well. Mm. Um, but then, I, so I was knitting for my size for that, which I think I did a size down so it wasn't so loose. Because a lot of Jane's patterns are quite on the, are on the, a little bit on the looser side. The ruby side. So I did that one a size smaller and it fits perfectly, except for the fact it's a bit short. And because you're knitting it in pieces like this, I didn't want to start undoing it and to redo it. So Nicola's a little bit shorter than me, so she can maybe get to try that. Woo. She does all right, tend to me for jumpers, don't you? Yeah. Um, <laughs> but so this one I've gone a little bit longer. With cotton, it'll probably grow a bit Yeah. as well, I thought. This is woody. My stitch market is woody. Excellent. And if you use Instagram, that was by... Uh, she did it with the little tiny little beads. That was by Beans... Oh, what's she called? Beans Craft a lot. Oh. I think she's called Beans Craft a lot. I think she's called. That made those specifically for me. I asked. I have a Buzz Lightyear one, and I have the Woody because I love my Toy Story characters, especially but obviously Buzz and Woody. Bean Crafts a lot, yeah. Yeah, Beans Beans as in runner beans. Beans Craft a lot. So I found this when you knitted this. I found out. I felt I was doing the same size as the grey one, but it was coming out quite a lot bigger. I don't know why. I don't know whether it's just because it was knitting in. It was still double knitting, or whether it was just because I was knitting in cotton. Come on. But it was coming out quite a bit bigger, so I went down two sizes. But whether my tension was not so great, my tension was loose because I'm normally a little bit on the tight side. My tension these days. So you were well, you knitting on a three? So I'm knitting the second size. Oh, what, what it says you... here now, 
I was doing a 44 to 46 the first time. I'm knitting, I'm knitting now, I think, a 36 to 38, which says actual measurement 42 and a quarter, but it's still, mine for me, is still going to be bigger than that. Yeah. And I'm a 45, so it's still going to be plenty big enough. So I, you just have to take that into consideration, I think, with knitting cotton. Does anybody else find that with knitting cotton, or is it just... I don't think I've ever knitted it. Is it just me? Because it looks, obviously, it stretches out. I've only crocheted it. Yeah, it stretches out quite a lot. So I only needed to knit a smaller size. That's good for ego boost, isn't it? Yeah. Well, and it's only should hopefully only take five, maybe. Five. And I'm going to do three quarter sleeves. On the original, it's got full length sleeves. And you don't knit, you don't knit a, a rib. They, it just let it roll. It's just stocking stitch, and, and and it was, and you let it roll as you can see on there. Um, but this time, I think I'm going to do. I'm doing. I've I've done a little garter stitch rib, not a rib, but a garter stitch edge of about five or six rows, and I'm going to do them three quarters. That's good idea. Sleeves instead, I think. That's the plan anyway. So that's that one. Want me to keep going? I've also got, put that one down. I've only got two, um, no, I have done a wire. Oh, I only had It's all right, you've got the pile there to show in a minute. Of the um, oh. knitting ribs. So this is, this is what I'm doing now. Crag uh, jumper. Couple, couple of pattern up. It's the crag jumper. Simple this cable jumper. By guess who? Uh, Pearl and Jane. Pearl and Jane. Jane Ellison <laughs> from Pearl and Jane. I've knitted a few, a few uh, jumpers out of this book. That's it. It's really nice. We've got again. Pretty. I'm knitting this in. Um, what am I knitting this in? The Stylecraft, like a tweed, Aran. So I think it's got a percentage of of wool in. I couldn't swear to it. In fact, that's it up there. Will you go? Can you get it off that top shelf? That wool there. And I can then I can say what it is properly. So it's a lovely, it's simple. It is really a simple cable pattern. But it's so easy. So I'm knitting this in Michael size. This is a bit closer, a bit closer to his, to his actual size. I'll just get this out of the packet. So this is it. Starcraft special, Aaron with wool. And I'm hoping I'm going to get it all out of one four hundred, one four hundred gram ball, which I think I should. I've done one sleeve. I've done the front and the back. I've done one sleeve and I'm on the last sleeve, so then there's only the bit of the collar. So I'm hoping I should get it all out of one ball, and then when I've got another ball, if I want to do one for Joseph as well. Mm. Didn't buy it to do that, bought it for something else, but That's as you happened. do, it tends to drift off and do something else. I find cabling is one of those things that's really good if you've got, if, if you're worried about something or you're bothered or you know, for all your mental health that, that we're all looking after these days a bit more, yeah. which is good, because I find if you have to concentrate on doing a cable or a lace pattern or something like that, it uh, distracts your mind because you can't think about your troubles and concentrate on doing That's a cable cute, pattern. baby! Look at that! <laughs> <laughs> That's cute! So it's brilliant for that, so I'm sure many of you would agree. You concentrate on that, don't you? It takes your mind off There's a things for a while. Baby wearing what mum's knitting. A little boy. How cute is he? Yeah, this it. is the Knitted with Love book. Knitted with Love book. I'm not sure she does the book anymore. I think all the patterns are now. You have to buy them separately. Right. Um, I'm not so sure she does the book. I wouldn't. I'm not a hundred percent on that, but I know she finished one of the books, and I think it might be this, and that she just brought out all the patterns individually and I've knitted a, I've knitted that one a couple of times that one a couple of times is really nice I did one that one I did one for Daisy I think I did one for Florence um I did this one that one for Michael yeah, if I can yeah, find a better Carter. picture I did that one I've done that one for Michael I did that one in a Serdar and it grew because he stretched it to death he still wears that, you know. Does he? Well, he probably grew with him. But I did that one for Michael. He now looks too small. In a hayfield. But the sleeves have shrunk. Yeah. I don't get it. I don't understand that. So it's a really useful, useful book, that. But all the patterns. So if you have never tried any of her children's patterns, it's well worth it. And a lot of the children's patterns, people have asked for her to make them, design them into an adult's pattern. So there's quite a few have crossed over into adult patterns as well. 
Awesome. Which is, which is really good. And then I've got one more. Because, you know, I have to have a few on the go at once. Do you want to hold it up? You're sitting a bit further back. It's, it's the law. You have to have at least 12 things on the go. Yeah. Keeps life interesting. And then all of a sudden, you finish all in one go. You finish them all over a space of a few days. And everybody says, oh, gosh, don't you need it fast? Not that it's been sitting on the needles for three years. I was like, hasn't this... Uh, have you been doing this a while? No, have actually, no. Can we see this from that far away? Yeah. I probably started this. And that was where Buzz was. And Buzz has come off. He's, he's uh, hanging. I'm wondering what that was there. And he's putting back on. Must have caught it. So what, having a somnus? You're not having that one. No. Oh. <laughs> this is uh, this is knitted in Bellissima, Stylecraft Bellissima double knitting, which is very similar, in fact, very, very similar. It's all practically the same as the Bambino that I used earlier. In fact, I'm going to do, I'm doing the body in the green, and whereas they've put stripes in the sleeves, I'm going to knit the sleeves in, if I can reach it, that one there, yeah. I'm going to knit. In, I'm going to knit the sleeves in a bambino yarn, the bambino prints. This stripes it gives a bit of a stripy flecked pattern. So I'm going to do the sleeves in that one. So it's a bit different. I like it. Instead of it all just plain, and it has. Let me just bring that in. It's got stars. You're knitting in a star pattern, which I really quite like. It just makes it that little bit more interesting to knit than plain, plain stocking stitch. But although I'm not sure. If it's going to be too big and whether I need to... I'm trying to decide, hold off, I'm trying to hold off on knitting any more on this because I'm trying to lose weight at the moment. If it works, <laughs> I actually lose. I've lost a bit. If I lose more weight, it might be too big. So I'm just hanging off a little bit before I carry on in case I need to... If I don't want it to look too big and baggy, I could pull it, pull it back and start again. That's cute stitch marker. The stitch marker. That's one of me, uh, Copo UK... She's called a little slice of winter cake. That one was, and I'm using my circular. I've been using my circular needles for knitting those. I've just got the stitches on on one of the wires. It's not the big red one. Right, so we're moving on to crochet now. And Nikki's crochet. She's been crocheting up a storm. It's glad I do. It's because I like doing it because I can do it really, really fast. Yeah, and you found you really like doing that lately, haven't yeah. you? I always, I never used to like crocheting toys, but that seems to be what I've been doing a lot of at the moment. Um, I can't remember if I've shown this or not, so I'm going to show it anyway. It's been so long. I made this for Jules's birthday, in which was back in January. He turned three. Um, he is dinosaur mad. This is a J, not an L. No, it'll be the right way around. I'll fl flip when I. When I edit this, I flip it so we'll be on opposite sides and everything will be the right way around. All right, okay, cool. So this is knit, crocheted in Hayfield. Double knit? No, Aaron. Aaron. A lot of American patterns, because I crochet a lot of American patterns, it's all done in worsted, which is Aaron. Worsted's a little bit thicker than Aaron, actually. Is it? No. no, worsted's a little bit thinner than Aaron. It's in between DK and Aaron. Yeah. So I just use Aaron, because we can't really get worsted here. So there we go. It, it, it is a bit loved. It's gorgeous. <laughs> um, and the pattern's from All by Jade. All Love by Jade. That kind. I found it through... Um... Is it on Etsy? No, it's not. I'm giving you the wrong details. She is on Etsy, cause, and she's also on Ravelry. But she's got dinosaurs, and she's got other giant patterns where they're all big, because I didn't want to do anything small like this small. This is another one that I did for Joseph. But I wanted to do a big one because at the time, this was the same, almost the same size as Joseph. He's growing <laughs> a bit now. Um, and he goes to bed with him and it's his baby dinosaur. That little cute, pleasant baby that you used to see on the videos that was quite relatively quiet, other yeah. than banging a few toys, he's like a, just a little tear, tear away now, isn't he? Oh yeah, he loves everything dinosaurs. He's very demanding. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's yeah. definitely the boss in your house. Yeah. More so than Michael. Yeah. He knows yeah. how to get what he wants. He's a little mon monkey. <laughs> and he knows he's a monkey. Today he decided, this morning, that he was going to be an orca. A baby orca. So when we were walking to nursery this morning in school, he was he was head-bobbing, pretending to be an orca. And then he was a dolphin. So an orca, as in a killer whale. As in a killer whale. <laughs> and then he was a dolphin, so he could jump through it. 
jump through. He's got he? a heck of an imagination. Oh, God, yes. Whereas Michael's all about space. Space and outer planets and building. And he's been watching these space videos. And we're taking him to the space centre for his birthday. He's, he's yeah, an amazing craft. We're hoping, he's very crafty. So we're hoping on Sunday afternoon we're going to be doing a little video with him, getting the craft box, the family fun craft box from, from my work. Mm. Uh, and he's going to be opening that up and all the summer crafts uh, he's going to see and, gonna and we're going to video it. Because he wants to film a video. Because I told yeah. him I was coming here to film a video. I want to be in the video. So that's all right. <laughs> on Sunday you, you can, can be. You can we'll do one focused on you on Sunday. So as I flashed him, this is supposed to be a sheep. Is he a toft pattern? He is a toft pattern and he is in also in Aaron. He's a bit loved he's a bit or oh, under squish is he in acrylic he is in no he's a style craft no he's not he's a robin wool which is 50 50 acrylic and wool that's good because the top patterns are all originally done in alpaca yeah uh, but they you pay an arm and a leg for it as well but he is supposed to have a fleece he is supposed to have a coat on but when he's I'm... just been shown when I'm when I made him, <laughs> I was gonna make a story basket, so I was gonna give him a sheep and then I was gonna find a farmer toy, I was gonna do him in a basket, and I was gonna do a chicken, because he's all into his animals as well as his dinosaurs. But I have a um, big patchwork bag that one of um our, one of the ladies made who used to come in mum's shop and uh I took it to work, did it at work, came home and he, he I obviously didn't hide it very well because he went full <laughs> on in my bag and pulled it out and I've been trying to get it off him ever since to get the fleece on it and every time I say come on let me put the fleece on it no mummy my sheep he obviously loves him just as he is yeah so he's a naked sheep he's naked and mm. he's, he's style craft he was one of my first ones and then I knitted mum knitted you we both sorts in the same stuff yeah oh yeah, yeah I'll have to root them back out Your to birthday. show on another, on another episode did two at a time socks Mum slipper socks for a birthday because you were supposed to be gone all the day when it got cancelled. Yeah, it was for my fiftieth during <laughs> lockdown, so never mind. Fifty one this year? No, fifty plus one. Fifty plus one and this I'm year. Thirty plus one. <laughs> <laughs> we're not yeah. eighteen this year. No. <laughs> and then we've missed a year. I did this octopus. She's called Paige. And I really like how this is constructed because the tentacles aren't sewn on, you, you crochet it straight on. So you, all you, have to, you can yank and yank and yank all you like there coming off. They make good baby toys I believe these, don't they? And she's a mama. She's got babies in her belly. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got three. So there's oh, her hole. Yeah. <laughs> Censored. <laughs> Censored, yeah. <laughs> do, do, do. And here's a... Uh, I've got the little babies. Got you can get fit three in. And they're, they're teeny tiny, and this is all using red heart wool because I really like the flamingo colorway. Cost me like eight pounds, something stupid off Amazon, but because you can't find it anywhere in the UK. And that was again off pattern from Etsy. Yeah, I think she's the alpha jade one because she does a mummy turtle, a mummy cow, and she's just released a mummy crab which I might need to do because he's cute. <laughs> so I, I, I'll just show you a little bit of the sewing. The ones I've just pulled the bags down that I had up the back, up the back there. I just made some uh, little tote bags. Been making handbags and tote bags. I got myself um, a Cricut machine, a Cricut maker, and I've been using the vinyls, the iron-on vinyls. Mm. So I thought this was really sweet. I picked this one because it has a golden retriever just there. Which just reminded me of our Jakey dog, the golden retriever we used to have, which until uh, it's been, he's been gone about six years now. But you wouldn't know it. He's, no. uh, he's, still, he's left a big... Big... Uh, uh, I say, he's, not left, he's not left a big hole in our lives anymore, should I say, because it's been a few years. But there's a very rarely a day goes by that we don't think about him. Yeah. Or talk about him whenever yeah. you're seeing somebody else's dog. Yeah. And I watch YouTube videos with golden retrievers because we both work full time and we just yeah. we haven't got the time anymore. We used to work part time before, but now um we'd love to have another one, maybe in the future. You'd want one as well, don't you? But yeah. the prices of them now are just stupid. Oh, they're astronomical. Stupid. So I made a doggy one and I made 
a cat one, a pussy cat one. So there you go. Can you see your cat on there? Cats leave paw prints on your heart. So has any of you out there bought one of these cricket makers? Because they seem to be taking the world by storm at the moment. They're out of stock everywhere. So that's a couple of bags. I've also made, I did one these for putting with the vinyl to put your crochet kits in. Which I thought was quite... Your crochet kits. What did I say? Crochet. Crochet. We could put your crochet kits in. You could. For your cross stitch. Because what have I put on there? Cross stitch keeps me sane. I want one for my diamond painting. So, so what, what, what took looks ages to weed all... this. Yeah, took, took ages to weed all them bits out of there, but... And I've got me, like, me own little labels. I'm going to try and make some labels myself. Okay. I'm made by Heather Birkin. Mm -hmm. And I've put charms on it. So this one is the one I all fancied up. That's pretty, that one. So, and then I've made a couple of blank that I haven't put anything on as yet. So I've done a couple like that as well. So put your cross stitch in. If you need a tester, I've got cross stitch projects on the go. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. I like that dragonfly. So that's two of them. And I made a couple of... Um... Can't tell you like dragonfly. No. And I made, <laughs> I made some, I've made some pencil cases. I've made these so that we can put names on. Dinosaurs. Pussy cats, so the the full fabric of the dinosaurs on and the cats on the back. So these are the kind of things that are going to start hitting. Right, this is one of mums hitting the shop. Oh, well, I made that for Joseph. Have you have you acquired that? I've one? acquired the smallest one. These were um, by so sweetness. These ones, mm. these one, the clear pouches. Yeah. yeah, I bought the Minikins series from SoSweetness.com, and it was in that. So I've acquired that. <laughs> so I think that's all we've got to show for this now. One. If you want to follow us anywhere, we're both on Instagram predominantly. Yeah. I'm Woolly Elephant Mum. And I'm Woolly Elephant Daughter. Woolly Elephant Daughter. Uh, I work at a shop called Always Knitting and Sewing in Chorley, so I'll be showing things, not showing things to sell from there, showing things I make yeah. for there because I, because I make them. Yeah. So if there's anything that I'm using and you want to buy it, you can always go off and look there. Um, and I just just make. <laughs> <laughs> I just do. Nikki just sit, Nikki sits at home and crochets. Yeah, a lot. Yeah, pretty much. That's, yeah, that's my life. <laughs> uh, Facebook. You you post on Facebook more than I do. Technically, no. No, not anymore. When I've tried linking my Facebook back to my Instagram, and I I will it won't do it because you're connected to it. Oh, right. Okay. Where, but I do go on and post on the actual page. On the, she, I, yeah, it shares my Instagram posts, whereas you actually post, post on the Woolly Elephant. And the emails, any messages on there come through to me. Come through, to, yeah. So, okay. So, until next time. Next time. We will look exactly the same. We will look exactly <laughs> the same, because we're going to film the next one. We didn't want to make them too long. So, until next time. Bye-bye.